hundreds of people went on the streets of Tamale to protest the current economic hardship in the country. The demonstration that Misim Demo translated to mean hardship demo. The demonstrators accused the Nanado led government of being very corrupt and also labeled administration as corrupt. Professor Jasper, lead convener of the demonstration, in addressing the demonstrators, blamed the Nanado government for mismanaging the economy, resulting in excruciating hardship on Ghanaian citizens. So whether it will solve the problem or not, it is a legitimate way of holding citizen, I mean, leaders accountable. So we are not here suggesting that by our demonstration, the president will just suddenly start doing things differently. But at least we'll tell him that you are not doing things right. He and his team of economic management, uh, management, management and all his ministers, those who are responsible to make things better for people, are not doing, they are, they are sleeping, most of them are sleeping. And he tends to think that they are overperforming. As we are illustrating by these uh, uh, placards, many messages are telling the president that the, the government is underperforming when it comes to delivering uh, uh, the uh, services to, that will promote the well-being of citizens. The government is sleeping. There is no time in the history of Ghana that people are going through crashes, I mean, hardships like the one that we have now. He further accused the MPP-led government of compromising the nation's security by placing party loyalists in the national security apparatus. Some of the demonstrators have been sharing their views with City News. Ghanaians are suffering. Prices of goods and services are soaring. Prices of goods and services are soaring. There's no media freedom and everybody is complaining. Unemployment rate is going rather too high. Unprecedented in the history of this country. That is why we are on the streets. To demonstrate to the government and especially President Akufado that Ghana is sinking and we, want, we don't want to sink with the country. Namibia is a disappointment to the economic team of this country. He's leading the government economic team. He told us that the city was arrested and the key given to the ITP. Today, what is the city to a dollar? A, a dollar is equivalent to 10 Ghana cities and more. That tells you that Bahamia is just not yeah, in the no. picture. The only solution the government can say is Ukraine and COVID-19. Even where the bombs are landing at Ukraine, economic hardships are not as it is in Ghana today. As you can see today in the Tamil market, a ball of kenke is less than, is more than three Ghana CD. A gallon of petrol is about 70 Ghana CD. Tamil is the heart of food production in northern Ghana. One bag of maize is close to about 300 Ghana CD. Corruption is unprecedented. This is the first time in the history of Ghana that the Auditor General has indicted about 19 judges for allocating to themselves for buying auction cars. Not only that, the Auditor General report of 2021 indicated that cash irregularities have risen from 12 billion in 2020 to 20 to 17.5 billion in 2022. That means that people are now eager, people are now at liberty to do whatever corruption that they want. I come from Bubila. I started the journey yesterday. I came because of the demonstration. We are the young farmers in the Eastern Corridor. From right from Bimbila, Bimbila, Zabzubu, Miyam constituency, Banda, Wulezi, Kreshi. In fact, I wish any of you could take a coverage at that side and see how young farmers are suffering. You will get hundreds of years for three, 300 uh, Ghana cities. 300 Ghana cities. And what a tractor operation is about an acre. Acre, one, uh, 150, 150 uh, Ghana cities. You see, we are suffering that right now. Yams are, they are not buying yams around. All Ghanaians are suffering now. Because now we can't buy even common bread. That's why sugar. If petrol, even we are going to eat in the evening, we can't eat because everything is now costly.